Hello and welcome to The Health Show. It's a new year and a good time to start eating more healthily. But for those that find that too difficult, there's always the radical alternative, surgery. It's a growing trend all over the world, not just in the richer countries. In India, we'll meet the weight loss surgical team who are carrying out three times as many operations as they did just five years ago. Also on the programme, the device which uses your own cells to create spray-on skin to speed up wound healing. Why beating the parasitic worms which live in our bodies may be causing a huge surge in allergies. And a high-tech way for medical students to learn anatomy, the virtual dissection table. In developed countries, the number of people who are overweight just keeps on rising. A quarter of British adults are now classed as obese, and in the United States, it's a third. In poorer countries, the figures aren't that high yet, but they are growing. In India, which has a population of over 1.2 billion, even a small percentage increase means millions more overweight people. And for some Indian patients, diet changes and more exercise just doesn't seem to be enough. Increasingly, they're opting for surgery. Reena Singh weighs 101 kilograms. Today, she's having gastric bypass surgery. I'm overweight. Because of that, I can't walk around properly. It's hard to do chores. I become breathless when climbing stairs. And I find it hard to get up in the morning. This is uh, what we call gastric bypass. And this is basically a, a surgery done for uh, reducing obesity. In a gastric bypass operation, the patient's digestive system is rerouted. A small pouch is created from the top of the stomach. This is then connected directly to a section of the small intestine, bypassing the rest of the stomach and over a metre of the small Restricting the intake of the patient. And we are bypassing almost about 1.5 metre of uh, the gut. That means that the uh, food comes in contact with the digestive enzymes much later. In 2006, Dr. Chalbi's institute performed 150 weight loss operations. In 2011, they did about 400. Patients reached the point at which they would benefit from surgery for a variety of reasons. But Dr. Chalbi says for some, an increasingly affluent lifestyle is part of the problem. With the revolution of fast food, computer, cell phones, indulging into the food which is high in calorie, and uh, also the physical activity is practically reduced to almost zero, you know. So that is why we see more and more problems. India still has many poor, hungry people. But for some Indians, particularly in the cities, being overweight is becoming more common. According to the British medical journal, The Lancet, in 2010, almost one in five men and more than one in six women were overweight. Obesity gives rise to a lot of very serious diseases like diabetes, uh, hypertension, coronary artery diseases, obstructive sleep apnea. Next door, a patient weighing 192 kilograms is undergoing a different type of weight loss surgery. Once people reach a certain weight, Dr. Chowby says exercise and dieting alone can do little to help. Most of our patients uh, which we see are morbidly obese patients. This is a stage of uh, uh, obesity which we call irreversible stage. Weight loss can be achieved for a short period but cannot be maintained for a long period. There are risks, but Dr. Chowby believes the benefits are considerable. As a surgeon, as a clinician, for us the most thrilling part is to see the diabetes disappear and hypertension reduce. But for the patients, I think they're happy with the kilograms and pounds which they have lost.